Okay, healthy people. Today, I decluttered the supplement drawer next to my home work desk. Why did I even think it was a good idea to put my supplements there? Well, I thought if I put them right next to me, then I'll remember to take them. How did that work out for me? Well, let's see. The average bottle of supplements is really intended to last about a month or two if you take it as directed. There are some that are designed to last longer, like antihistamines or things like that that you only take while you're having active symptoms. But it's safe to say that if a supplement bottle has been sitting around for a year or more, then you're not really using it. So how bad was it? Well, I decluttered 21 bottles of expired supplements from that little drawer. I won't bore you by showing you all of them, but here are the worst offenders. This one expired in August of 2020, which means that I probably bought it sometime around 2017. Why in the world did I keep shuffling it around? I think first and foremost because it was so expensive and also that it smelled great. I paid like $75 for this little bottle of delicious clove-smelling supplement. I wasn't going to throw it away, but I didn't use it. It's wormwood complex, which is mostly for parasites. I don't have parasites. I just like the smell of wormwood, I guess. I should have bought a pack of clove cigarettes and just sniffed them once in a while. Would have done me just as much good. And here's the winner for the most expired supplement of all, which expired in June of 2020. The stuff works great for some people, but it doesn't do anything for me. It's for airborne allergies. And I don't have airborne allergies. I bought it because I do respond well to this brand's formula for food allergies. I guess that's consumer logic. The most painful part of decluttering the supplement drawer was coming across the expired, unopened supplements. Who even buys supplements that they never open? I would say, not me, but it's me. These are supplements that sounded like a good idea when I read about them, but the truth is, if you're already taking supplements or medications, there comes a point where it's too much. You're not going to take more. So I emptied out the supplement drawer and turned it into what it should have been in the first place, which is a postcard drawer. And I put up a little spice shelf on my wall that only holds a few supplements, which are the ones that I really do take on a daily basis.